let's talk about, talk about building a hierarchy structure, okay? Um, what I want to do is go through the Windows Explorer. So I'm going to right click on the Start Menu button and click left click on Open Windows Explorer. Now this is Windows 7, but it's very similar in other versions, operating system versions. Now I'm going to go to this, uh, as you see in my left window pane, I have the detail, uh, the overview pane, and I have the details pane over here. So let me click pane, P-A-N-E, as in window pane. I'm going to click this drive here, the C colon, that's the hard drive generally. Well, actually that is always the hard drive. And I'm going to, uh, notice over here I have a folder called School, and underneath that I have a folder called Course 1, and inside that there's like an Assignment 1 called A1. And then Course 2, it's, it's empty, but notice the hierarchy here. Now school is whatever school you're attending, whether it's high school, college, you know, the name of your school. So you can organize your items in a hierarchical fashion or organized fashion. Um, and Windows is very, very good about allowing you to do this because the good thing about this is once you, you make your folder called school, let's say, um, or whatever school you're attending, and then within that you make a folder called, you know, course one, but that would really be the actual course that you're taking, like English 111 or 100 or whatever. And then inside that you would put your other documents. Now this is very organized because you have items within items and it's very quick, quick to locate. Let's go through a real example here. I'm going to highlight, highlight the C drive because that's where it's going to be. And I'm going to go over here and right click in the details pane and click new folder. And I'm going to call it school 2. Now school is going to be whatever school you're attending. Now notice how on the left window pane there's a folder called school 2. Now we're going to use the school one here that I've created earlier as a little model. All right, and you notice I'm going to highlight the, le I, one thing I want people to remember is that blue is true. If I click it, it's blue. That's truly the one I'm working on. So blue is true. That's the one I'm dealing with. If I click this one, blue is true. That's the one I'm dealing with. And notice how that assignment pops up. Notice how the assignment is within the course one as opposed to that assignment being in course two. So we're assuming that course one, that assignment is applicable to that. So you want to store your things in proper places. You want to name them something you can easily retrieve too. So I created school two, and now I'm going to go create in the right window pane, another folder. We're going to call it English 1100. Let's say we're taking an English class. Now notice that the a symbol appears on the left window pane for expansion, meaning it's going to expand into other things. It's going to show you what's beneath it. All right. If I collapse it, it's fully expanded. Or right, it's not going to collapse it, I should say. But it, but notice as I, as I flip this little button back and forth, it's going to expand it or contract it. All right. And I'm going to go inside this folder. Remember, blue is true. I'm going to create a file. Let's say we had to do a Word document for some reason. There's our Word document. And it's called Paper 1, and inside it, it had stuff in it. All right, now we're going to go to the school folder, and we're almost done. We're going to create a folder. For accounting. All right, now in accounting, it's really appropriate to have a spreadsheet. So we're going to click the accounting folder, click New, and we're just going to make a, I'm just going to make a spreadsheet. There's nothing going to be in it. I'm just going to give it a name as soon as I can find where the spreadsheet is. Excel. All right. And there we go. So we have actually built our hierarchy structure. And we have our school and two items, two folders within it for classes we're taking. And inside Accounting 1000, we have our homework one, which is a spreadsheet document, Excel. It even says it on the right as I drag these little vertical bars. And then English 1100. That does it. Thank you very much.